let me officially welcome you to spring. Yeah, yeah. it's the first day of spring. <laughs> can you feel it? You can feel it everywhere, right? I mean, you can tell here in New York, the winter street urine has begun to thaw. <laughs> uh-huh. In Philadelphia, Gritty is shedding his winter coat, yeah? <laughs> Uh, and in Washington, D.C., Ben Carson is coming out of hibernation. Yeah, it's really cool. But it turns out there are some people who may be enjoying spring too much. Southern California's unusually wet winter has created an explosion of color. One of Mother Nature's most dazzling displays, hillsides overrun with poppies. But it might be too much of a good thing for Lake Elsinore. The town saw roughly 100,000 visitors on Sunday, forcing Mayor Steve Manos to declare a poppy apocalypse. The flowers were being trampled and parking and traffic oh, just turned yeah. into a nightmare. With social media driving the poppy frenzy, some worry the allure of a perfect post might be harming the star of nature's show. Wow, really? <laughs> People are trampling the flowers just for a hot Instagram post? And even worse, they're face-tuning the pictures. So now the flowers think they're not beautiful enough as they are. <laughs> Makes them feel really insecure, you know? And also, you say you love nature, but it's funny how, uh, I don't know, how we're gonna fight against climate change if every time nature does anything cool, 100,000 people get in their cars and drive 200 miles to go and destroy it. <laughs> so much love for nature! <laughs> Look, the point is, be responsible, all right? If you want a photo with flowers, just do what I do. Crash funerals, all right? <laughs> yeah. I'll just be there like, yo, sorry about your nana, but I got to get these likes. Ah! All right, let's move on to the biggest news in the world of sports. He may not be a household name like LeBron, Brady, or Serena, but tonight, an L.A. angel has reached heights even those legends can't match. Mike Trout, seven-time All-Star, two-time American League MVP, is reportedly about to hook the biggest contract ever in North American professional sports. The center fielder's contract extension is reportedly worth more than $430 million over 12 years. That's almost $36 million per year, or more than $221,000 per game. Sweet Jesus, $221,000 per baseball game. At Yankee Stadium, that's enough to pay for parking and get two hot dogs. <laughs> that's like $20,000 every time he swings the bat, or $10,000 every time he scratches his crotch. <laughs> Can you imagine the pressure Mike Trout is gonna be under to win, right? Because whenever the Angels are losing, he'll probably just have the, like, opposing team, he'll just have them forfeit. He'll just be like, I'll buy you guys, I'll buy you, I'll buy you, just lose. And look, if you've seen this Mike Trout play, he deserves every single penny. I mean, the guy is incredible. But I will say, that's a lot of money to pay someone for a sport that only exists so people have something to think about when they're trying to not <laughs> And finally, <laughs> moving on to my favorite story of the year. <laughs> and possibly my favorite story in my entire life. The concertina wire, or the razor wire, used to reinforce the U.S.-Mexico border is being stolen and sold by Tijuana residents for protection <laughs> due to the city's high crime rate, according to officials. Some homes in the area were also seen with the same razor wire added for an extra layer of protection, but residents refused to say where they got the material. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm sorry, guys. This is insane. You heard that right. Mexico is stealing the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, I wish I could have been there when Donald Trump saw this story on the news. <laughs> Knowing him, he probably would be like, they did what? Nancy, I'm gonna need you to spot me another $8 billion. <laughs> We're gonna need another wall to protect the first one. <laughs> And I mean, now, if, if they're stealing razor wire for their houses, they might as well just steal the whole wall next, right? Because <laughs> no one's ever thought of that. It was like, America will build a wall. No one ever thought Mexico will steal it. <laughs> like, Mexicans will be showing off their new home security system, like, I built a wall around my house, and Donald Trump paid for it. 